Hi everybody. So today um, I, I want to touch on something that comes up a lot in, in sessions, in groups, in our personal lives and, and it's the issue around anger and um, anger especially in love. So there are so many things that actually make us anger. We, we can get angry out of jealousy, um, we get angry because we are afraid to be rejected or abandoned, we get angry because we fear to lose face, um, being discarded, not feeling respected. And in many cases we are actually unaware um, while our anger emerges. Um, because we, we are actually hurt, there are fears that trigger us, we feel helpless uh, and, and our personality is actually highly complex and, and over time we've also become to a, a large degree we've become in a way inauthentic and, and so also our anger in a way is, uh, has become distorted. Um, so we, we can actually basically get angry at anything, about anything uh, sometimes for good reasons, but, but often uh, we don't really know how to stay in the moment because we feel so overwhelmed uh, and, and to collect ourselves and to look behind the anger as it erupts is something quite, quite challenging. Um, so our anger is, is very rarely uh, the product of like a distilled thought or feeling um, and actually when it is that it's quite beautiful because it cuts through something. It's, it's like an expression of truth and it hits home for us, it brings out a lot of clarity, but it also hits home for the person who receives our truth. Yeah, it's, it's something that expands us. Uh, and the other person usually when our uh, anger is very clear and distilled, um, doesn't feel hurt because its source is not personal, but it actually um, points out something that is not right. Um, so if we leave for a moment the anger towards uh, strangers aside, which actually has similar dynamics um, as the ones I just talked about, uh, we can find that um, the anger that we have towards those who are close to us, especially in, in intimate relationships, has a lot to do with expectations, um, with our need for acknowledgement, uh, and basically a lot to do with connection. Yeah, we need connection. So the feeling of uh, love is a very strong form of connection. We can we can call it that. It's it's basically something that connects two people. Um, and in order for it to expand, it needs a certain atmosphere or a certain environment. And the first thing it needs, it needs, uh, of course, trust and safety. But when we look at, at, at relationships, when anger is expressed in relationships, uh, it's almost always, it points back to us, yeah? to, to our wounds, to our manipulative sides. Um, but that is only one side of the coin. Of course, we carry a certain responsibility here and very often we act with a certain uh, level of unawareness because, like I said before, we, we are overwhelmed in the moment. So, but what it points to, regardless of our awareness or unawareness, it points to uh, something that is unclear, undefined, incomplete, unspoken or hidden in the relationship. So. The anger, in a way, gives us the opportunity to expose something that is uh, stuck or that's hidden. Um, and through the fighting, we can find out what's really important. Um, and once we're done fighting, we can see what it's about and if it's still worth fighting for. So uh, the expression of anger and fighting has this clarifying um, benefit, I would call it. Uh, interestingly enough, um, even at times when our anger is, let's call it, ill-informed, uh, its actual expression carries the potential for self-knowledge. Yeah? Um, and the intimacy of a relationship 
should also be able to provide for these unfiltered feelings to a certain extent uh, so that we can jointly look at uh, the message that sits behind the anger. We, we want that because we want the connection, we want the clarification. Uh, so if a relationship cannot really provide for these uncomfortable spaces, the depth in a way uh, of, the, of the love remains limited. Um, so basically we have to withhold frustrations or needs um, at the price of staying in the relationship um, which stays somewhat shallow we can say uh, and, and in a way has to handle, be handled with gloves. So even if the anger um, at first is not expressed in a precise way we need to stay with it and, and open ourselves to listen uh, to its underlying message, to its intuition. Um, of course, when, when anger is expressed too aggressively, it can break something. Yeah? So love is, of course, that's a little bit the paradox here. Love also is something very delicate and it can be broken. So we also want to make sure that we develop a certain resilience in us not to break too easily, to stay with conflict, to stay with, with uncomfortable situations. Um, so the more resilient in a way we become, the more we can, we can work around those sensitivities of anger um, and the more the love can benefit from it. And the, the benefit also of, of expressing our anger uh, more freely in relationships is that we don't really feel like suckers. We don't feel that we are sacrificing ourselves or we don't feel that we're not seen. In a way also um, expressing our anger doesn't allow us so much to fall into the victim roles where, um, where we have to be taken care of. Yeah, but it, it also requires of us to state what is wrong. So it keeps, in a way, it keeps the relationship alive um, by continuously clarifying what is important to us individually and in the relationship. So in many ways, uh, I would say um, anger is something very necessary to express, to practice in a relationship if we want our love to deepen and to grow. Thank you very much for watching and uh, if you would like to be uh, updated with new videos that come out, click subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon and um, also looking forward to your comments.